Hey softball fans, Steve Butler here with uh, Ricky Dominguez, Sonic 625, and Mr. Ray Cash. Ray Cash has uh, been throwing U Trip for 20 plus years, and he's uh, given up some time today to uh, talk with us about pitching, some pitching tips, um, how to throw different pitches, uh, his pitching philosophy, and we appreciate you watching this video. All right, take it away, Ray. Well, um, they wound up getting the girl out, and uh, she had a daughter. They got her out too. And uh, about three days later, I hadn't slept. It had been four days I'd been partying. I hadn't slept in six or seven days. I went up to church a couple of days later, and they were having a yard sale. And somebody asked me how I was doing. They asked me about what happened at the apartment. And I want you to know that the Lord pulled the rug out from under me. That day, I fell on my knees, and I cried out for Jesus to save me. Now, being saved, I've heard Steve share on his uh, videos in the past, and he hit the nail right on the head. For someone to be saved, it's about our believing in Jesus and having faith in his faith in his finished work on the cross. That's what saves us. There's nothing we can do. You can't do enough works in order to get into heaven. Our salvation is based on our belief in Jesus and his having faith in his finished work on the cross period. In the book of John, it speaks 96 times of salvation through faith, through believing in Christ. 96 times. It speaks of it 396 times in the New Testament. To believe in Jesus, to have faith in Him, the Bible says you'll be saved. Be, be saved. Okay? Now, what I'd like to talk about in my testimony is my personal relationship in Christ. You see, Jesus came here to do two things. He came here to save us, and He came here to sanctify us. So you become saved when you come to faith in Christ. To sanctify your relationship with Him, to have a blessed life, you must serve God. There is no other, no other way to do it. I serve God, I do a prison ministry. I serve God through a softball ministry. I serve God any way I can by telling people about my testimony and telling people about my personal relationship with Christ. Jesus is absolutely the best friend I have in my life. I speak about five days in my life that are great days. The day I came to faith in Christ is the greatest day of my life. Next is the day I married my wife, Kristen. I have an awesome wife. I have had three little girls, two of them are still with us, Kaylin Ray and Kirby Ray. The days that they were born were great days in my life. That's three and four right there. But my fifth greatest day is always when I see someone come to faith in Jesus, when they realize who He is. That is the most awesome, to see that, that, that change in someone's eyes, in their demeanor. And because I do prison ministry, I come across a lot of tough guys, a lot of hard case guys. I've watched serial killers who have come to faith in who Christ is simply because they understand who he was and they know what he did. Fans, right back here again. We're going to give you another angle. I'm going to be throwing to Ricky. He's not going to be swinging. All I'm going to do is just show you some pitches, how I would work on getting him out. As we said before, Ricky's an up-the-middle, opposite-field hitter. So what I try to do is, I try to come out here to this side of the rubber, hold the ball with the seams long ways on my fingers, and I try to break the ball in across the plate. See a break in? Try to use those balls as breaking pitches, because I, he's trying to go the other way. When a ball gets in on you, it's hard to go the other way. Sometimes it breaks a long way, sometimes it doesn't. The stronger the wind, the further the break. Here we go again. See it come in on him? Throwing it out over the plate, broke in for a ball inside. Again, be heads up up the middle. If he's trying to go the other way, chances are the ball's going to be coming back through the box at you sometime. You can also change your pitch up. Don't throw the breaking pitch. Throw it straight, keep it on the outside corner. We'll see if we can get it to work right now. A little bit. The stronger the wind, the better the knuckle. Now, can 
you triple SA. It's a lot easier to throw the knuckleball than it is an ASA because the ball floats on you a little bit. So I hesitate on throwing it in ASA. 